Mr. Speaker, Pro Tem and members, Representative Freeman moves to call from the calendar House Bill 375. It was on the notice given list. Without objection. House Bill 375 by Representative Amy Freeman to enact Title IX relative to residential leases provides relative to sexual assault victims as parties to certain residential lease agreements. Representative Freeman on your bill. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Members, uh, this is a bill I started working on um, pre-COVID, and this bill addresses um, leases for survivors of sexual assault um, so they can seek an early termination of a lease. Um, I worked, um, because I didn't run it last year, I had time to work with the advocacy, advocacy groups, some of the survivors of sexual assault, and the Apartment Association. So we worked together. The bill came out of committee with everybody's agreement. Um, Apartment Association and the advocacy groups and students came to the table to testify. So what it does is allows for reasonable documentation if you're to get out of a lease. So you have to work with a program director of a sexual assault center, a licensed professional counselor, a health care provider that conducted a for forensic medical exam, a prosecuting attorney or law officer. So the person does have to file some sort of report in order to um, to get out of the lease, but they are still obligated to a mutually agreed upon date within 30 days of notification and any any other parts that they have, like their security deposit. Um, and that is the summary of the bill. I, I do have some amendments to the bill. Any questions on the bill? There are no questions this time. Representative, yeah. We have amendments we're gonna take up. I think Representative Seaball has an amendment. I'm oh, sorry, Rose Freeman has an amendment. No. He does? Okay. Representative Amy Freeman proposes a one page set of amendments, members, number 1251 on your computers. Yeah, on your amendment. Okay. The first amendment is just a more comprehensive definition of sexual assault, so it refers to the proper statute. And the second amendment. It just makes the bill effective upon signature of the governor. All right. Any objection to amendment? Without objection, it's adopted. Question, Question of the bill, Representative Mack. The, the legislation, is it, the, is it alleged sexual abuse or do they actually have to prove the sexual abuse? They, the, the survivor has to be willing to go and, and document that this happened to them. So they have to, it's not, it's, it would be alleged, but it's at, after they have gone to report it to, it's if they have trauma going back to where they live or if they have unsafe reasons for being Reported there. to who? Reported to, there are four different people, or five different people that you can report to, the program director of a sexual assault center, a sexual assault advocate, um, a healthcare provider that conducted a forensic medical exam or a prosecuting attorney or law officer. And they send some kind of verification? That is who will sign the form with them to give to the landlord. Okay. There are no more questions. Representative Freeman, would you like to close on your bill? Thank you, members. Um, I ask for favorable support. This bill is brought um, on behalf of survivors of sexual assault who you know, have traumatic experiences. So I ask for your favorable passage. Representative Freeman moves the final passage of the bill. All those in favor, vote yay. All those opposed, vote nay. Madam Clerk, you please open machines. Members, vote your machines. Representative Presley, yay. Representative Destel, yay. Representative Edmonds, yay. Members, are you through voting? Madam Clerk, will you please close the machine? 96 yays, zero nays, and the bill is finally passed. Representative, Representative Freeman moves to adopt title, moves to reconsider the vote by which that bill finally passed, and lay the motion on the table without objection. We'll open up the machine for co authors. Madam Clerk, you please close the machine. 18 co-authors.